Hey, hey y'all, it's Casey Hope with Pizzazz Art Studio and we're back today with another 10 minute challenge. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a watercolor that I did and I'm going to see if I can do it in 10 minutes. I'm not gonna use watercolor this time. I'm going to use our fluid acrylics that I've been loving lately. So uh, they're a little bit of a brighter pop. They're just fun. Um, but you could totally do this with watercolor, with acrylic paint watered down, with the fluid acrylics that I'm gonna be using using um, but basically this is just a challenge to you and to me to see if hey can we create something in 10 minutes or less and so we always like prizes if I do it you or somebody one of you not all of you one of you is going to get um, the 100 days of praise and positivity this is hand lettering uh, it's a journal um, a devotional type thing plus some of our not the stickers plus some of our scripture cards and then if I don't get it one of you subscribers are we're still going to send out a little something fun so we've got stickers and a Posca pen um, so how do you get to be in the drawing two things you've got to subscribe and you've got to comment let us know that you're watching and comment something nice <laughs> we're not going to be picking you if you pick comment rude stuff um so that's it those are the prizes we're going to see if i can do this draw it letter it paint it in 10 minutes or less so let's go Okay guys, so let's get rolling. I have got um, my sample piece that I'm working from. I'm working in a watercolor sketchbook and I will be using these fluid acrylic paints that are good for a lot of surfaces, but they work great here. Again, we'd like to tell you supplies for Bible journaling. They work good in Bible journaling. They do not bleed through. I will be using a Sharpie today. Sharpies are not so good in Bible journaling though, so just keep that in mind. So if you were to use this technique in a Bible pages, you would wanna use a different pen on top later. We're gonna use a Sharpie because when we letter it, we are going to then paint on top of it and I don't want it to bleed. Um, that They will not bleed with a Sharpie. If I do it with a Tombow pen, it will bleed if I do it underneath. But you can come back on top once it's dry with anything. So, um, so yeah, so let's get going. I've got some messy plates that I have just left out. I've got some clean plates. I've got a uh, sketch pad and I've got my timer. So here we go. I've got to uh, set that timer up. Let's see if we can do it in 10 minutes or less. Here we go. All right, going to sketch it out first. Big, just fun shape. I'm never trying to be too perfect about it. We're just getting shape on there. And you might be somebody that likes to um, likes to do things in chunks. You might like to just draw a few things and then come back and paint a few things. But just set inside aside 10 minutes really can give you a lot of a lot of good fun jump start on your creativity. So let's see. God give me wisdom. I am going to do. Okay, so I'm not going to go over everything that I just did there because I am on a quick little time frame. Oh, I don't like that Sharpie. I thought I went and got another one. Yeah, this one's better. But what I can tell you, a couple of things that you can see in here is that I am swapping up font. I'm doing some kind of tall, skinny, quick, you know, it's not really the, um, the kind of focalography cursive style. It's more of a stylized tall and skinny. It is filling the space. So I, where I've got more space, I make the letters bigger. Where I have less, I make them smaller. I wish I had a brush pen. That would make this a lot easier, but all of my brush pens are the type of pens that will bleed whenever I add the color on top of them. But I would definitely make this faster. Do you notice how the E is way bigger than the M? It's because I have way more space out here, okay? So I'm really looking at my space and filling things in like a puzzle. That is one of the the things that we teach inside of our boot camp is you're really looking at this and filling things in like a puzzle. Meaning you look at your negative space. 
All right, so this is taking me a little longer than I want it to, but it's part of it. All right, so uh, there we go. I've uh, done God Give Me Wisdom, and this to me, this is not, you know, this is just practical wise uh, <laughs> wise thinking to ask God for wisdom instead of a bazillion other people. I um, I follow along with Tara Lee Cobble's The Bible Recap, and even this morning, the uh, the reading for the day was talking about, you know, 400 of this guy's, uh, I can't even remember all the people's names, but there was 400 people telling um, this king he should do something. But there was one prophet of the Lord that said, mm, don't think you should. <laughs> and he didn't listen to that one. But it is always uh, it is always more wise to listen to God and his wisdom than just the crowd or even just so-called experts. So, so we are going to letter that today, paint it, make it cute, put it up in front of us. So I'm kind of going around this in a, I mean, I could go over it. It does cover it just a little bit, but I'm kind of going around it. I kind of like that stylized look coming around some of these letters. So obviously I'm using a different type of paint, so it's going to look a little bit different than this, but you can kind of see I'm just drawing inspiration from something. You can also draw inspiration from uh, fabric around you. There's a lot of like cards, inspiration is everywhere. I really do see it on fabric a whole lot though. I think I have a, a Lily Pulitzer little bag or something that's got really fun pineapples. They're not this exact style, but they're, you know, fun little pineapples. All right, so there's some yellow and green that I'm going to mix. Throw this in. Very loose. I'm not like tracing and filling in. I'm just loosely adding color. Loose is the name of the game, especially if you are doing something in 10 minutes. Now, do we think that everything has to be 10 minutes? No, we have tons of projects that do not take us 10 minutes. The point of doing this is to, just to show you one, that it can be done, and two, to just inspire you to get going, okay? Once you get going, you are gonna have so much fun just playing with color. It doesn't mean you're gonna like every single thing that you do, goodness knows, I surely, look, we have had pizzazz for 15 years, almost, is that right? 15 or 16? 16, I think. And I've been doing a whole lot of art. Do I like every single thing that I do? Uh, no, I don't. That's part of the process. You're not gonna like everything that you do, but the more you do, the more you get into a flow, and the more chances are you're gonna like something <laughs> that you start to do. You're gonna kinda start to find your groove. All right, so I'm gonna grab some yellow. I've made this orange before, but it's kind of dried up. So I'm going to get a little bit of the yellow, a little bit of the pink. Look, my plate is a mess. I know, I know. Don't be coming after me. I know there are better ways to do this, but I like to, um, I like having big surfaces. Oh, fun, fun. Now I'm probably not going to do the kind of the the crisscross that I did in this picture. Instead, I'm just going to put a little bit of orange over more so on this left side than on the right. I can still put a little bit over here, just more heavily concentrated over on this side. This is funky, fun, very abstract, not trying to be, um, not trying to be realistic, pulling in some of my pink, a little dab of my blue for some purple. This is going to be pretty. Now look, you are going to get a different kind of purple every time you mix based on a couple of things. One is going to be based on the type of blue that you choose to use. So 
I chose a darker blue, if I would have chose the lighter blue, it would look a little bit different. Um, but then also, how much blue did I add? A little dab will do you when it comes to blue. And I am notorious for usually adding too much because it's, I mean, you need just a smidge. If it's a dark blue, it is a strong color. Um, so a little dab will do you, but every time you mix, based on the type of blue that you use and how much of it uh, you use in that mixture, you're gonna get a slightly different um, color as far as a purple or, you know, if you're making a green, same thing goes for if you're making a green with blue and yellow. Mm, I like it. I think I wanna put some pink in here. Even though there's not pink in that original. Let me check my time. I've got two minutes, which is perfect. Oh yeah, that pink. This pink is like why I love these paints right here. Um, I just have started playing with them. A lot of people use these for different things other than the way that I'm doing it right here. Maybe like for airbrush or different things, but gosh, I love just throwing this pink on it. It is, makes me happy. You, I have not found, um, there are some inks that are uh, this bright and vibrant, but sometimes it's hard to find pink that that is that awesomeness I'm gonna just keep on rolling with this fun pink okay so I do need a little bit of black and then maybe some black polka dots I don't have quite as much room on this one as I did on the um, is this black I think it is so we'll just do just little polka dots here and there and it's okay to have half polka dots it's okay to have polka dots kind of going off the page like this where you just see a piece of it you still kind of get that black and white vibe Look, I thought this one was going to be really quick and easy. Er, and I did not realize I was going to be down to the wire. I think my lettering, t uh, 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 I think my lettering. Okay, I think I did it. I think I did it. I think I did it. Okay, so there we go. I was down to the wire, but I did it. So, so I did it, and you can too. Pick up your supplies take some time to create because it just adds peace and play into your day. We have seen it time and time again. When you take time to sit down with paints or with drawing and with lettering, it relieves stress, relieves anxiety, takes your focus off of all the other mess in the world sometimes. But, um, but anyway, you can do this, sit down, 10 minutes, peace and play every single day. So here we go somebody is winning this so remember what do you have to do to win our 100 days and our stickers only two simple things subscribe to this channel and leave a comment and a nice one <laughs> so those are the only two things you got to do and we will draw a random winner from a subscriber and a commenter and we will reach out to you and we'll get this in the mail all right y'all see you see ya